guys, so today I'm going to be doing my UK holiday essentials. Um, I recently just went off to Centre Parks with my family, um, so I've just kind of had a little bit of experience with packing for the unpredictable British weather, so um, I thought I'd do a video on it, um, and it might help some of you that are maybe going away soon. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. So I'm going to get started with some beauty bits. The thing I struggle most with when I go on holiday is skincare. I always pack far too much, and I used, I used to always pack the whole bottle of something, so a full bottle of Bioderma and a full toner and everything like that, and it would just mean that I had like a full big bag for just my beauty essentials and that was kind of really excessive and made it really really hard for me to kind of pack appropriately but I thought I'd just kind of really really bring it down this year and I managed to fit everything into this case here um, so I have got my cleanser here toner, bioderma, Estee Lauder advanced night repair um, Estee Lauder advanced night repair eye cream just because I needed a really really small eye cream and this one just kind of fit perfectly into the box whereas my other ones were just kind of a bit too fiddly um, and I've got morning and evening moisturisers um, face mask and sun cream. and I got along with this fine it was actually slightly more than I needed I've done a whole blog post on this below so I'll link that up um, just so you can see kind of what I brought in detail because obviously you can't see all of the products in here because they're in decanted bottles but I have done a whole post on like packing for a kind of weekend away in the UK. The only thing I have thrown in that wasn't included in the blog post is a radiance facial mask. I really found that whilst I was on holiday my skin was just a little bit lacklustre, it just needed a little bit of a kind of a bit of a chemical peel or a scrub or something like that just to kind of get all the dead skin cells off my face. In hindsight I think that something like this would actually be perfect and I've just got a little serum of the Balance Me Radiance Facial Mask um, and I love Balance Me because they are kind of pretty much all natural, I think this one's 98% natural um, which is great and I just think that a little sample like this which they hand out all the time if you buy stuff from them or um, in glossy boxes you get them a lot um, little samples like this are just insanely useful for throwing in your bag. Another alternative to this would be um, instead of decanting like a normal refreshing toner, um, just decanting the Clarins exfoliating toner or something similar to that into one of the little pots so that you can take it away with you and that would make a really great alternative in hindsight. That would have been a really great thing to do as well. But I didn't really think about that at the time. So put all the thought into everything else and not into face masks, which I didn't really think I'd need. And you can always use them when you get back like I did. But I just found that I was just feeling a bit meh about my skin because it just needed a good little bit of exfoliation. So in hindsight, if you're going away for longer than kind of four days, then one of these would just be perfect. And then next up, if you're only going away for a few days, then chances are you only need to wash your hair once. Um, if you're going swimming, then obviously a little bit more. Um, I was going swimming, so I felt like I had to take shampoo, otherwise I probably could have made it the full weekend without washing my hair because I'm disgusted. But the products I took with me are the Bumble and Bumble Surf shampoos, which just look like this. These are the mini ones. The minis are just so, so handy for when you're going on holiday. I use these, um, pretty much religiously on holiday and I've barely actually used any because you don't need to use too much. But these are great and the good thing about them I think is that you can refill them once you're done. So I would just top these back up with my Bumble and Bumble Surf shampoos um, but you can also put anything else you like in them which I just think is so handy because then you can reuse the bottles over and over for years to come which is great so you'll never really have to keep repurchasing minis after this going swimming a lot I would also recommend taking a hair mask. I only went swimming a couple of times because I'm not too keen on the swimming I have to admit I'm not the strongest swimmer and I'm a bit like a cat really I don't like getting wet I don't like the rain I don't really like taking showers as disgusting as that sounds I would much prefer to be dry and not in the water so the mask that I would recommend taking is the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer which is a really great product because it comes in a kind of travel size so this is really travel friendly and I would just recommend this for that and also it just adds some of the elasticity back into your hair so especially if you've got coloured hair and you're going swimming take something like this with you because it will just save your hair and um, I I took this with me because I only went swimming once, I just used it very very briefly on the ends, it didn't do the full back, but if I'd been swimming quite a lot I think I would have used this a bit more regularly. This product is also an if you're going swimming kind of thing, it's the L'Oreal Full Slash Telescopic Waterproof Mascara, which is the biggest mouthful, I can't believe they made the name longer, I don't know what they're trying to do to me, um, but it's just a really really beautiful mascara. 
it really d does do kind of everything it says on the tin it makes your lashes so long i'm wearing it today it makes your lash lashes so amazingly long and then it also is seriously waterproof as well my boyfriend had a lot of fun soaking me in the swimming pool trying to make this stuff fudge and it just didn't happen we went on some seriously scary rides and nothing so that is really really amazing and i actually like this more than the L'Oreal Telescopic which has been discontinued. Pretty really impressive because I really really did love that mascara. It's one of those ones that is really great and makes you really like your eyes without lots of liner on and things like that because I'm obviously a liquid liner fanatic <laughs> but um, I really like my eyelashes on their own just with this and with the other L'Oreal Telescopic but I actually think I prefer this one more because it's far less clumpy and gives a really really natural kind of fluttery look which is just beautiful. Also one if you're going swimming is a long lasting nail polish and I really recommend the Rimmel 60 second nail polishes because these last through anything. Um, I took I wore this at Centre Parks and I went in the swimming pools with it on and didn't budge at all. Um, so I recommend these if you are looking for a long lasting nail polish because you won't have to kind of repaint whilst you're away which is And then great. star wise if you're going away in the UK I have a few essentials for you. I like to wear shorts when we go away, put, um, especially in the summer. But it's one of those things that you can add more layers to, so it's really great for if it suddenly gets colder. We were really, really lucky with the weather when we went up to Suffolk. It was lovely for the whole weekend, which was great. Um, but I would really recommend taking tights with you if you are going away anywhere in the UK. If you're wearing jeans, you can put them under your jeans if things get seriously cold. Um, if you're wearing shorts, you can pop them under your shorts and wear like Vans or dolly shoes or something. Um, if things just get a little bit chilly, they're also great for if it's raining. I would really recommend these for kind of festivals and things like that as well because tights dry so much quicker than obviously not as quick as bare legs but you don't want to be cold um, but they dry so much quicker than jeans or leggings will so these are really great if it gets a bit rainy. I also like to buy the ones from ASOS which are I think they're like a hundred and something denier or whatever it is. Um, I don't even know if I still have the line at the top of the thigh, which is really great for if you're wearing kind of vintage Levi's or any kind of shorter shorts because like cut off shorts, because then you don't get that kind of weird line on the tights that kind of tells you that you are wearing something that is too short. Um, so these are really, really great for that and they're quite inexpensive as well. I can't remember how much they are, but nothing overly bank breaking. And another thing I like to take away with me when we're going away in the UK is a really, really nice snuggly jumper. They're great for the evenings if you're kind of camping and sitting outside or just going for a walk. Um, and they're just really nice if it's a bit cold at night and you're like wandering around wherever you're staying and it's just a bit chilly. Um, I like to take this jumper away and this is my best friend's jumper which I have stolen um yeah she basically moved away from home and she left this in her wardrobe and I was like I can't believe you've left it so she let me have it which was really nice of her but it's just um, a jumper from I think it's from Primark really lovely it's just stripy a bit drop dead Fred-esque if any of you have seen that film um, so I feel a bit like a burglar when I'm wearing the jumper but that is just beautiful and keeps you really really warm and snug so I definitely recommend taking some form of jumper away with you and if you're going away in the UK you also will want to take some form of coat with you my favourite to take away is my top shop khaki green coat which just looks like this it's a bit like a military jacket and it's a really great one because you can layer things up underneath it and it's a really nice length as well um it just keeps you quite warm but if, if the temperature is kind of that in-between temperature it's also kind of breathable enough to not make you kind of sweat out so it's a really lovely one like khaki jackets like that are really great for taking away they're also great for festivals as well, so a lot of this can be applied to kind of festivals and holidays away like that, just short term holidays, um, just because they work really, really well for both. And if you're going away, I would also recommend something like this, which is um, a Kath Kidson travel bag. This is the one that I tend to use for all my beauty products, makeup and hair stuff, which sounds awful when you look at how big it is, but I tend to just use this one for things like that. Um, or if we are not doing stuff like that or I fitted it in another bag I can kind of take food away in it or something like that um, it's also it also makes a nice day bag if you're not going anywhere that's overly fancy um, so it's quite cute and you can take that around as a day bag and it fits all your daily essentials in it which is great and then you also have the giant Kath Kidson bags I have the polka dot one which I think is still in stores I think the other one may have been discontinued now because it's the old kind of square um, style but these ones the new ones have rounded corners but this is the polka dot one which I love it fits kind of all my stuff in it so straighteners clothes extra pair of shoes lots of things like that it'll fit that in and it's perfect for kind of a weekend away like just a few days I think if it was a week I probably need a suitcase but 
I don't like to deal with in suitcases if I don't have to so this is just great for like weekends. I can't recommend cath kits and kind of travel bags or anything like that even the cheaper versions enough because they are so so handy for going away for the weekend. They're also quite good because you could get them really messy and muddy and it doesn't matter so if you're going to a festival they are really good because you can wipe them. I think that is it for my travel essentials Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a mishmash because obviously you will need things like toothbrushes, toothpaste and things like that. Those are all the basic essentials but these are kind of my beauty and style essentials for um, a weekend away so I hope you enjoyed it and um, let me know if you have any questions give it a thumbs up if you liked it um, and subscribe if you haven't already um, and I'll see you guys soon bye